All right, welcome to White Physics Practical Alternative B for Electricity. And this is going to be the question two in that particular paper. So this is tentative. So what we are to expect, this is what we are to expect for the examination. So this is the circuit. And here E represents the variable DC power supply E. And we have the key, we have A, which is the ammeter connected in series with the circuit. We have the two ohm resistor and the voltmeter connected in parallel with the resistor. So let's quickly read through the instruction and see what we are to do. You are provided with a variable DC power supply A, a two ohm standard resistor, a key and an ammeter, a voltmeter and other necessary material. One, set up a circuit as shown in the diagram above with E equals 1.5 volts, close the key K, take and record the voltmeter reading V, take and record the corresponding ammeter reading I, and evaluate VI and I inverse. Repeat the procedure for four other values of E equals 3.0 volt, 4.5 volt, 6.0 volt, and 7.5 volt. Tabulate your readings and plot a graph with V inverse on the vertical axis and I inverse on the horizontal axis. Starting both axes from the origin, that's zero, zero. Determine the slope S of the graph. Also determine the intercept C on the vertical axis. So you can see that what we are expected to do here is to draw a composite table having E is equal to 1.5 volts. Then we are going to measure the voltage V. So we are going to have V there. We are also going to have I as the current, then I V inverse and I inverse. So my table is going to look like this. So I have the EMF, the voltage, the current, the inverse of the voltage and the current inverse of the current. So this, we have the uh, voltage, the EMF 1.5 volts, 3.0 volts, 4.5 volts, 6.0 volts and 7.5 volts. So that's what the table is going to look like. So in this experiment, the if you do not have the uh, variable DC power supply, you can actually use a combination of cells of 1.5 volts. So the first voltage will be 1.5 volts. Then you add two together, you're going to get 3.0 volts. Add three together, you get 4.5 volts. Add four together, you get 6.5 zero volt adds uh, five together gets 0.5 but in fact in this experiment i first of all performed the experiment using a variable dc supply power supply what happened was that it, it was burning out the resistor so if it burned out about two of my resistors so that's why i decided to improvise using uh dry cells instead okay so let's uh, go into the experiment proper and carry out the experiment and then Close the circuit. Let's see. So we are just from here. We're going to adjust this to 1.5. That is 1.5. So I'll close the circuit. So let's read the values on this quickly. So this is. So we're using the down part. So this is a uh, 1. Point 1.15 because this is one 1.15 so i'll record that as 1.15 then on the ammeter we are using the up one so this is 1.5.6.7.8 so i'll record as 1.80 so let's remove the key then we we'll adjust it to 3.0 I'll leave that at 3.02. So leave that so close. So these are my tables of values. So you can see the the voltage. That's the, uh, the voltage. The voltage to be measured across the capacitor. The current I, V inverse and I inverse. So uh, this is my setup here. I have already uh, connected this. So you can see that this and these are connected in 
parallel. So this is connected in parallel to this. This is the connection this and this connected to this negative terminal. This and this connected to the positive terminal of this. Now I'm not connecting these two is a key because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my dry set as my variable um, my variable source of EMF. So this is what I'm going to do. So this is going to represent one volt. So this is going to be two volts. When I combine these three together, I have um, so this is three volts, uh, three volts, 4.5 volts. This would be six volts. And when I add all of these together, that's going to give me 7.5 volts. So this is what I'm going to be using. Now, because I, I have to discharge them, so that's why I'm not having uh, a, cell, uh, a key connected to this. So, I'm going to take just one, uh, this one, uh, uh, 1.5 volt cell, then I'll take the negative terminal, I'll put it here. So I'm going to be using my hand, that's why I don't have a switch for this. Then I'll place this on this. Okay, before that, note that this is where I connected this to. This is connected to this point here. So this is for the uh, below one, which is 5 volts. So it is written there, 5 volts. So you can see it there. So this is, you should know this, this is 5 volts. 5 volts, you can see it there, and this is 2 volts. So, what the one, the one I want to use is 5 volts and the negative. Then, this also you have 3 amperes for this, and you have 5 amperes. So, you see it's connected to the 5 amperes. So, the 5 amperes reads the one at the top where you have uh, 5 here. So, this reads the one at the top where you have 5 here. So, the one below is 3 amperes. So, the, but I want to get up to 5 volts. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to be using the top. So there's a, a, a zero error on this. So you see that this is on zero point one. This is that from zero. So I'm going to note that whatever reading that I'm going to take, I'm going to subtract that from it. Okay. So that's how to uh, note and correct zero error. I can actually adjust this to bring it back to zero, but I don't have the uh, instrument to uh, adjust this number. So I will just take note of this. Whatever I get, I subtract zero point one. From it. So let's uh, go ahead and take the readings. So I'll take this. So this was supposed to be connected to this was supposed to be uh, connected to the key and the other end of this, the negative terminal of this connected to the key. But I'm not using that. So this will serve as my key. I'll just plug and remove it. So I'll put this. So I'm going to put this here. Then I place this on this. So you see it's deflated. So this is so what I have here is 0 0.9 and what I have here is 1.565. So remember I have to remove one from the uh, current. I have to remove one from the current uh, 0 0.1 from the current. So the uh, 0 0.65 becomes 0 0.55. So I'm going to record current 0 0.55. Then I'll record my voltage 0 0.90 to all of them recorded to two decimal places. So that's what I have there. Now the uh, good thing about this is that if you actually don't want to ca continue carrying out this experiment, you can use these two values to actually obtain all other values for this. And I'm going to do that in a separate video. Now the reason why I'm going to do that is that because of the high voltages, it may affect the resistance of that resistor. So you may, the, uh, you may not be able to get reading from this again. In fact, I, I have um, the actual voltage uh, regulator. I actually, actually carried uh, an experiment with the voltage regulator. Here, the voltage becomes, uh, became so high, it started burning out the resistor. So that's why I decided to improvise with this. Now, another thing that you should note is that in the question, the, these values may not be 1.5 or 3.04, it doesn't matter. If, if, for example, this is 1 volt, use 1.5 volt for 1. So just use it for, use all these values for close values. You, uh, your result will be the same. It will not affect what your graph is going to look like. 
So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be three volts. So I'll take this negative terminal here. I'll put it on this. And I'll put the positive terminal and put it on this. So now my current is 0 0.6. Zero point uh, one on the one at the top is one point zero, so that'll be zero point nine zero. But remember, I'm removing one. Then the voltage is one point. The one uh, because I'm using the one below. That's one point one. So I'm going to record that one point one zero. So this is what I have here. So zero point nine zero. See the voltage is increasing and the current is what increasing. So the next one I'm going to use three. So I'm going to combine this three together now so i'm going to combine them together so i'm going to combine these three together so i'm going to have this so i'll put this at the negative terminal okay so i'll put it on the floor then take the positive terminal and put it on top of it so what i have on the current is Zero one point one two three one point three, then the voltage is one point three also. So voltage is one point three, one point three zero. Then the current will be one point two zero because remember I have to correct the zero error. So these are my readings. So these are my readings. Okay. So that's uh, my read. This is what I have got. I have got it from. It's a very simple circuit and very simple. Experiment. So the thing, you see, the trend is that this is increasing, and this one is also what increase. That's what you add the examiners want to see. So it's very easy and straightforward. So next, I'm going to make it four. So I'm going to combine these two together now. So I'll combine them together. Okay, so I, I had to change the battery because that one was too weak. So it was too weak. So I had to change the battery. So next we are going for 6.0. So combining four gives us 6.0. So again, I'll just put this. So there's no need for a key for this. Just set your battery and arrange them together. So this says as my variable resist and my variable voltage. So I'm going to join this again. Place this on this. So my voltage is 1.6 and my current is 1.4. So I have to subtract 1.3. So I have 1.60, 1.30, 1.60, 1.30. .1 so this is my uh, reading for this 1.60, 1.3. So it's going fine. See, what you need to look at is the trend as this one is increasing. This one is also increasing. As this one is increasing, this should be increasing, and this is also what increases. So that's the trend. So that's what you should look at, not the particular values here. It's the trend like this. So now let's move to the next one. So the last one is 7.5. So I'm going to place this on this. So my voltage now is 1.8 and my current is 1 1.5, 1 1.8, 1.55, 1.80, 1.55. So I have to uh, remove 0 0.1. So that would be 0, 1.45. So that's, these are my uh, readings. So this is my complete table. So this is perfect because there's always what increase. There's always as this is as this is increasing. 
this is increasing and this is increasing so if you're wondering this is my setup so this is the battery so you see i just joined them together with hard key so this is still the uh, setup parallel this is a parallel combination of this and this so this is a parallel combination of these two because we have a wire from here down to this and this goes to the the negative terminal of the battery then you have two wires from here see one goes this way this way so these two wires this and this makes this to be in parallel and this goes to the negative terminal of the ammeter while the positive terminal of the ammeter goes to the positive terminal of the cell so that's my basic uh, connection there's no big deal about it. very simple uh, practical and i urge you to use this uh, cells instead of using a variable uh, uh, voltage supply, DC supply, because when I did that, it um, it burns out most of my resistor. So that's why I tried to improvise with this, and this is good. Like I said earlier, even though if the EMF has changed to one instead of one point five, still use this for it, you get the same value. So the trend on this is what the examiner wants to see. Okay, so we'll complete the table and then plot the graph.